for nothing. The best part's coming up. Now watch what I do. I can never get this puzzle right! Oh, forget it. I give up. <laughs> Please, Cliff, you're a genius! A sleepy genius. Now bug off! I can't believe it! Heathcliff solved the puzzle! Well, I gotta show Grandpa this. Look, Grandpa! Heathcliff solved my puzzle with his own little paws. What do you think? I think you have quite an imagination, Iggy. Professor Pym, you're the expert on animals. What do you think? Well, his things are very simple. Child's play? <laughs> um, may I take your cat to my animal research institute for further study? A cat that smart may be the find of the century. Hear that, Heathcliff? You won't mind being tested, will you, boy? I promise to give Heathcliff all the kitty yum-yums he can eat. Yum-yums? Why didn't you say so? This is the best room in the Institute, Heathcliff. I hope you like living here. You'll be sharing this room with two other exceptional felines, Byron and Philo. Well, <laughs> I'll see you boys later. All right. If there's anything I won't tolerate, it's a sloppy room. Heathcliff, unpack your bags over there. Slim chance, fat face. Oh, I wouldn't get comfortable there. Watch me. That's my bed, bulb head. <laughs> Hope my case suits you. <laughs> I'm the smartest, so I'll find it first. We have to find dinner? Yeah. If you can run through that maze, Professor Pym will give you a big, juicy tuna. But Byron always will. Oh, yeah? What about a shortcut? Well, if we multiply the negatory aspect of the geographic ratio... By reducing the didactic square root. Just give me the bottom line. Come on. And turn left at the door. Uh, take a right, please. Yeah. Oh. 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 Excellent, Heathcliff. Excellent. Now, don't blame Heathcliff. He just outsmarted you. Here, some crackers for dinner. Maybe next time you'll be faster. <laughs> in this experiment, you must spin the wheels in different directions. And if you can do it, you'll be rewarded with milk. <laughs> Well done, Philo. Heathcliff, Byron, I'll return later to see how you two are doing. Hmm. You're so dense you couldn't get milk from a cow. Let's see you do it, Lard Bottom. It's simple. Nope. You're simple. <laughs> Hey, give me that milk. <laughs> no problem. You moron. From where I'm standing, you don't look too smart yourself. Byron, <laughs> what have you done? 
It's another cracker dinner for you. But you, Heathcliff, get a nice big chicken for completing the test. <laughs> now I want all of you to go to the dream room and rest up for the super mega maze test. They're controlling our dreams. Good, let's slip fire in a few nightmares. Attention, mutts! Right between you, there's a fat, juicy ham bone. Easy, easy fellas. It's, it's me, Byron. Don't you recognize me? Bone appetite, boys! We really should get some sleep for the Mega Maze test. Hmm. I don't know how long I can keep faking out the professor. And tomorrow's the Mega Maze test. What are you gonna do, Heathcliff? Funny you should ask. I'm gonna hide you in that maze tonight, Philo. You figure out how to get me through it. Tomorrow, but, I'll have it since. Uh, but, but... <laughs> Things are going better than I'd hoped. <laughs> While those pinheads are occupied, I, Byron, genius that I am, will plot my revenge. <laughs> Are you sure this is gonna work? Trust me, it'll be amazing. <laughs> now for a good night's sleep. Why'd I let Heathcliff talk me into this? Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the scientific world, Heathcliff, the smartest cat on earth, will now enter the ultimate mega maze. He will follow this toy mouse to its center and retrieve it. Philo, where are you? I'm over here. Turn right. Tell that windbag to turn left, or you've had it. I mean left, turn left, Heathcliff. Thanks for the tip, Philo. Oh, I take that back. Go straight ahead. Whoa! What do I say now? <laughs> Let's help him down some stairs. Turn left, Heathcliff. No, you fool, I said right. Hmm. There's something fishy going on here. <laughs> I knew that lame brain was no match for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Heezy. Uh, you wouldn't hit a cat with glasses, would you? Yeah. Oh, Cruz! Oh, oh, help! Oh! <laughs> Professor Pym, your experiment is a flop, and that cat is about as smart as an ashtray. Heathcliff, you've destroyed my life's work! Out! 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 Uh, here's my chance to get in good with old Professor Pym. <laughs> My dear colleagues, wait! Look what I have to show you! What now, Pim? My experiment wasn't a flop after all! See? Byron found the wind-up mouse! I rigged the Mega Maze test to show you how resourceful and trainable a true genius like Byron could be! Hear that? Now all the chow will be mine! Whipped cream, tuna, catnip, everything! Tell me, Professor Pym, what is the secret of your success with Byron? Hmm, it's his perfect diet! Crackers, he hears! And I'm going to see to it that Byron eats nothing but crackers for the rest of his life! <laughs> hey, Byron! If you ever need me, just whistle! <laughs> Wait right there. I gotta take a break from all this. I've been waiting for you. Let's go.
telling you, Rip Rap. This town is nowhere. It's boring. Oh, I don't know. It's all right. Oh, nothing ever happens around here. No excitement. No adventure. Lots of stuff happens. Don't interrupt me while I'm complaining. Every day it's the same old thing. Wake up. Have some milk. But Cleo. Maybe scratch up some furniture. Then take another nap or read the funny papers. I'm young, good looking, adventurous. And what does it get me in this town? But Cleo. But Cleo, but Cleo. You just don't understand a girl's needs. More than an occasional fish picnic. Huh? I have fun! I've waited long enough. You've been taking me for granted, and from now on... Cleo, wait a minute! I'll expect some excitement in my life, and you'd better deliver. Maybe you could take me to the big city. There's a lot of excitement there. That's a great idea. Some big city excitement would be very relaxing right about now. How do you plan on getting us to the city? Trust me. Hurry up, you guys. Ow! Look out! Ow! Hey! Uh, oh! <sighs> now what? Now we need a lot of hot air to blow it up. Yeah, Mongo. Some hot air. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys, bash. How about that? First class travel accommodations. Is there an in flight movie? Stick with me, and it's first class all the way. <laughs> huh? Hey, what's going on up there? Hey, Mount Mungo's too heavy to be in the back. Well, then switch places with him, you knucklehead. <laughs> oh, no! You can't take those guys anywhere. <laughs> Put Mongo in the middle! If everybody's here. Mo! Yo! Mo! Yo! Flo! Yo! All right, you yo yo's. This meeting of the file gang is now called to order. President Rank presiding. First order of business is figuring a way out of this boring city. Let's fly out. 
Don't be ridiculous. If cats were meant to fly, somebody would have invented a giant balloon with... You asked for it, you got it. The big city. Oh, thanks, Riff Raff. You're wonderful. Hey, it was nothing. Easy for him to say. Both my legs feel like scrambled eggs. Mungo very tired. Well, as long as we're here, let's take in the sights. where Hector Wordsworth and Mungo went. Beats me. Well, at least for a little while, they won't be underfoot. You're stepping on my face. These guys are like chewing gum on the bottom of your shoe. Yeah, I guess we're stuck with them. Well, what are we waiting for? Huh? Where are we gonna go, Rank? I hear there's a lot of action in Westminster. Okay, where's Finster it is? Let's go! It's just like I pictured it. It's so exciting! Hey, Riff Raff! Is it a long ways back to West Finster? It sure is, Mongo. Then I think we better start walking. Look! Oh, no! Our balloon! Come back! <laughs> Get us, sucker! <laughs> Come on, you guys! Yeah. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Help! Riff, riff. <laughs> Will you guys stop fooling around? Riff, riff. Riff Raff! Mungo to the rescue! Gee, thanks, Mungo. At least your heart's in the right place, Mungo. Now if we could just find your brains. Come on, everybody. I've got an idea. Riff Raff, we're going straight up. How are we going to get him? Trust me. Move it, bird. Now! Vacation's over. Let's get out of here. Mongo. Yeah, I know. <sighs> you gotta admit, it was a pretty exciting trip. Next time you go, make sure to send me a postcard. Oh, well, here we are back in boring old Westminster. Yeah, good old boring Westminster, where nothing ever... Well, <laughs> almost nothing. Don't go away. I may need your help. Back to Heathcliff and me, Riff Raff. Ah, it's just about that time of the week again. Grandma Nutmeg's about to comb my fur. The experts say you should try and groom your cat every day with a fine tooth comb. And if the hair is matted, be careful not to use force. 
Your cat won't appreciate it. Yeah, but confidentially, I don't like my hair combed at all. Nothing could get me in that house right now. Well, uh, almost nothing. <laughs> Son